there guys, my name is Coach Shadonks to Born Bot Built for Theme Park News and yes, we're here with a Theme Park News update. Now you can probably tell from the type of setup the new Concorder has finally arrived a day earlier, a day earlier than I expected. Uh, but today's update is all about Islands of Adventure and their brand new Jurassic World roller coaster. Now, we don't have any current updates in terms of April, uh, but we're going to look back uh, according to an article by Orlando Park Stop along with um, some stuff from BioReconstruct, uh, the good friends of Orlando Park Stop. And we're going to have a look at the latest construction. I'm going to show you the stuff from the latest article. But I'm going to show you an image on screen according to uh, Orlando Park Stop. Uh, and all the credit goes to them for that image. Uh, basically telling you guys about this brand new uh, coaster and what's been going on over the last month. Uh, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family, and on social media. And keep getting your questions in for the 1,500 subscriber Q&A. We're about to hit uh, the milestone. Um, deadline for the questions uh, so you've only got five days to get your questions in uh, and of course um, we'll be recording the video after them five days so make sure you keep getting your questions in below and let's get into this video so let's have a look at the image that Orlando Park Stop uh, shared um, just to give you guys a basic idea uh, of what is set to go down and while I'm putting that on screen I'll show you guys the latest updates as of the last month. Uh, so here is the image. Big shout out to Orlando Park Stop for this image on your screen now. Fan at Dabby Dozy. And let's have a look then at the latest updates. So let's start off with um, what happened a few days ago as when this uh, update was posted. It was posted at the end of March, uh, so a few days before this update was posted. The good friends at BioReconstruct took to the skies over a mostly empty Universal Orlando to take aerial photos. You can see all of that uh, on the article which I've put in the description down below. So let's check in, let's have a quick check in with the Jurassic Park project, the new permanent location of the Raptor Encounter. Uh, so the new Raptor Encounter will replace the temporary one currently set up at the other side of the Pizza Predatoria restaurant. So this is just a little uh, quick update. Uh, so the first foundation to be poor, which is where guests want their photos taken in front of the Raptor, plus the border outline for the actual Raptor pen has been installed. Just like the original Raptor Encounter location, electric, quote unquote electric, uh, fences will be added to these bases. So below the Raptor Encounter area appears to be a new section of extended queue that connects the queue for the Jurassic Park River Adventure. It's possible that this new section of queue could allow guests waiting in line for the River Adventure to get a view of the Raptor as they pass by. It's also possible that part of the section of queue could also be utilised by the Raptor Encounter itself, as needed. You can see the labelled version of the photo in the article for details, uh, just for a little bit of a reminder as to where all these are going to be. Now the coaster and the latest updates on the roller coaster. Let's start with some fantastic views of the whole work site then zoom in and some new photos being poured and you can check out the first piece of track installed uh, as well. So all the photos are on there for that. Uh, so in the graphic on the article you can see the entire track layout as it was proposed in permits with the county. The green area will be the queue and load area, the grey areas will be walkways and an extended waterfront area which can already be seen taking shape on the ground. There's an overlay of the proposed chat layout on the aerial photo. No means exact, but it's only a 2D image on laid on top of a 3D photo, but it gives you a general idea of where the chat will be placed. Once we start seeing supports installed, it'll be easy to create a more accurate representation in brackets. So that's an interesting thing to know. In another image on the article, you can see how the waterfront area has been reshaped to match the plans, and the arrows are pointed to new footers that were recently installed. Now more footers are being created near the bypass bridge on the right side of the site. In the photo below you can see an area in the box that has been drained. Inside rounded forms are being created over pilings that will soon be poured with concrete to create more footers. That is in the article as well. Additional footers are being poured on land including the section below located in front of the discovery centre. Now, moving on to where most of the action has been lately, the former Triceratops encounter plot. This is where the building, the queue, 
load and unload area and a large portion of the new attraction. It's also where the first pieces of track have been recently installed. The hour in the photo uh, in the article shows the direction the coaster trains will be travelling as they make their way down the second and largest launch. Passing through a tunnel and picking up speed, the trains will then fly upwards into a top hat manoeuvre after existing the tunnel, exiting the tunnel over the lagoon. Since the back half of this tunnel will be enclosed, the track for that section was installed first. Uh, you can see the section of track that was installed is wrapped in a black corrugated plastic tube to help protect it whilst work is ongoing. Below the installed track are several supports that have also been installed wrapped in blue plastic. A temporary work bridge has been added over the end of the, last, uh, of the launch tunnel so workers can move between the two areas. To the side of the massive launch tunnel, the foundation for the floor to what will become the maintenance bay has been poured. You can see the rows of what will become footers for coaster tracks inside the maintenance areas where multiple trains will be stored inside. Around the perimeter of the maintenance area will be on the conclusion to the ride, taking riders on one last U-turn before disembarking. You can also notice the tall tower that has been constructed. In a previous rumour update, it was discussed how this attraction may be themed as an in-gen Raptor research facility. It's believed the tower will become part of the theming and will be visible from the ride. It may also serve as a practical purpose as well, perhaps housing a staircase. Now near this tower, walls have started to go up for what will make up the main structure for the attraction and this structure will house the majority of the queue and the unload slash unload station. Workers can be seen pouring concrete forms to create these massive walls between the coaster and the side of the Discovery Centre. Another image shows a possible configuration for the queue building and other structures. Uh, the track is not shown in the image but green represents the main structure while the orange section are possibly themed tunnels. Uh, this tunnels will be for transitioning in and out of the dinosaur paddock area on the ride and all of this area will be surrounded by electric fences. You'll be launched into the paddock and then launched out of the paddock when you head out to the lagoon. After the coast sections in front of the Discovery Center over the lagoon, you'll return through one final tunnel before the ride concludes. At the bottom of a photo, you can see work going on for the foundation of the structure for scene one. It's not yet known what will take place in scene one, but it's suspected that it may have something to do with us heading towards the Raptor Paddock area, and in true universal fashion, something goes wrong. Next thing you know, we're launched into the paddock and trapped inside with the Raptors. Now, an updated look at the coaster track for the attraction. Currently staged off-site on some of Universal Orlando's southern property near the future site of Universal's Epic Universe. Hopefully soon we'll start to see more of the track leave here and be installed at the Islands of Adventure. So, while the parks are closed for the coronavirus pandemic, it does appear that construction for the coaster is still going on. Now, the plan was to open this new roller coaster sometime next year, but there's no telling what may happen now due to the current situation. Uh, so you can see all the pictures on that article. A big shout out to BioReconstruct for those amazing aerial photography. Uh, it says here in the article, but I want to give my own personal thanks to BioReconstruct because I looked at the photos and they're incredible. Uh, and you can go and what you can go and read this article in the description down below. And also you can look at other articles, great articles from Orlando Park Stop in the description down below. So. What do I think of this? Personally, I think the construction over the last month or so has been really picking up the pace. It's not even a full month yet, it's like a week or two ago. Uh, but the last constru the construction work over the last couple of weeks has really picked up the pace here. And I like how the coast is really progressing well over this closed period while the coronavirus pandemic uh, has been launching itself onto the world. And uh, the fact that this, co this coast of construction seems to be still going on is definitely good signs for opening in 2021. Now, obviously with the work taking place, there's still a lot of work to go, including track work, final touches, finishing off the theming, finishing off the surrounding area, getting the brand new permanent Raptor encounter being built, uh, obviously the queue, the load and unload station, obviously that needs to still come together a bit more. So there's still a lot of things to do. Obviously, we're in the spring of 2020, and this is set to open next year in 2021, around this time next year. So, you know, they've still got around about another year to finish it off and construct it, etc. Um, I don't think it'll be a spring opening for this. I'm predicting it'll be a summer 2021 opening, summer 2021 opening. 
uh, depending on how long this coronavirus goes on for. I mean, for us, for us in the UK, I think we're, you know, sort of in the peak time right now. So I think we'll be over the worst of it by June, hopefully. Uh, but of course, America, they're like, you know, I'd, I'd say about a month behind us. So um, it may be it may be a while before America gets back to normal. It's a, it'll be a while before we get back to normal. Uh, but I do have hope that this will open in the summer of 2021. So I think there won't be a massive change in the opening date. I think it's like a couple of months, like push back, uh, depending on how construction goes over the closed period and how long the construction over the closed period and what gets constructed at what time. Obviously, if we see testing around about February, March next year, then we'll know it should be all right to open by April, May, hopefully. So, you know, it's not going to be like a massive pushback, in my opinion. I think it'll just be like a little pushback, like maybe uh, a couple of weeks or a few weeks. At most, it'll be like a month and a half pushback if they have to push it back. So, uh, it should be interesting to see what's going to happen with all of that. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in to this construction update on the Universal Islands of Adventure Jurassic World roller coaster. Uh, like we said, I think this is probably a two for one Intamin deal along with Hagrid's Mo Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, which is the Intamin family multi launch coaster. Um, with some very special elements. I've seen POVs, I've seen images of that, and it is a bucket list coaster for me. Love to go to the States. Hashtag, hashtag coaster child across the pond. Uh, so it is a dream trip of mine, and I'd like to get out there as soon as possible. But hopefully you guys will get that trip sooner rather than later. So thank you very much for watching this construction update on the Islands of Adventure Jurassic World roller coaster opening in 2021. My name is Coast Shy YouTube channel. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video. Keep learning the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.